Let me show you these drifts that are coming here off this house here at the Manasquan Inlet. It is, there's another flash. There is another flash of lightning. We have thunder snow out here in Manasquan right now. Many of those victims who became infected were treated right here at the Jersey Shore University Medical Center. They underwent life-saving surgery to get rid of all that bacteria. Off to my left, this area, well, this is the fill. It was supposed to be put inside this hole you see behind me, I'm going to stop right here. It goes down about 20 to 25 feet. I'll estimate it maybe 10 to 15 feet across. Let's show you these waves now coming in at the inlet. This is the first of two serious high tide cycles that they are concerned about down here. What a unique place, only a block or so away from Atlantic City's most famous casinos. You know, every day the testers spend hours playing the latest slot games. We've been talking, I'm actually feeling a little bit anxious just sitting in this. I feel like I'm in a, a chairlift at Montage Mountain or something right now. Oh, this is a fun way to go. Yes, it's not a basket, but you're strapped in with seat belts. So if you live in Brick, if you live in Bardigan, if you live in Seabright, Belmar along Route 35 in the River Beach. All of this water is now going to move inland into those back bays as another significant wave hitting the inlet, moving more water into the parking lot. Well, this crash happened around 145 here on Route 27 involving a U-Haul truck, an SUV, and a car. Witnesses say the driver of the U-Haul was driving erratically. This is what is hitting my face. Listen to this. Can you? Maybe you can hear yeah, that the microphone picking it. up the sound of these. Uh, yeah, that's that's hitting my face right now. I was looking at the board and, and I heard like little, you know, sparks and then I saw it and I and I screamed. It just exploded. It was supposed to be a fun Christmas gift that nearly burned the Whalen's house down here in Lenoka Harbor Sunday night. I woke up to screams and like a bomb going off my house. This is all that remains of the smart balance wheel, more commonly known as a hoverboard. Kim Sung Craig plugged it in. 15 minutes later, disaster struck. It exploded and then it caught fire. Sending parts flying through the home. Kim's other son grabbed a nearby extinguisher, saving the house. The flames were about this high. Because I wouldn't think that mine would blow up. Who would think that? <laughs> I don't know. The boards already banned from planes have caused house fires all over the world and now here in New Jersey. The Ocean County Fire Marshal's office is actually trying to track down who made this product and they're having a hard time doing so. No contact information on the product, on the box, or even in the instruction manual found inside the box. In fact, some of these safety warnings read like a loose translation into English. For example, please don't use if send some odor and overheating leak out any substance word for word some of the instructions kim and craig say their days with the futuristic product are over i don't want them to have them because i don't want theirs to blow up he could have lost limbs it was like stepping on a mine in lenoka harbor jim murdoch news 12 new jersey Good boy, huh? Daddy's boy. jim zimmerla's bond with his five-year-old dog marley can be described in one word unbreakable and when flames tore through their Jackson Township home Sunday morning, Marley knew exactly what to do. Marley come jumping in my bed and he woke me up and at that point I looked, heard the fire alarm, looked down the hall and saw the red glow of a fire. Jim, who removed his hearing aids before bed that night, says Marley saved both their lives. If he hadn't woke me up when he did, there was five minutes and we would have both been gone. Jim says it took him a few seconds to clear his mind and realize what was going on. And once he saw his pathway to the door was blocked, he then escaped by jumping out of this window, first getting Marley out and then himself. I can't say enough for Marley. I'm just so proud of him. You know, he's been my partner, my buddy for five years now since I moved in here. For the next few weeks, Jim and Marley will be apart. He's staying at a hotel, the dog at his daughter's place. His home was destroyed. What are you doing? You miss daddy, huh? But for the few minutes a day he can stop by and see his life-saving dog, he still manages a smile even after losing everything. He didn't run and hide. He knew what he had to do. In Jackson, Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey. Uh -oh. oh, no. It took only a matter of seconds for this Morris County amphibious rescue unit to sink to the bottom of the pond. 
Three county OEM workers and two Roxbury firefighters survived the icy plunge thanks to training and protective suits. Their mission seemed simple enough, rescue this deer which became trapped on the ice on Saturday. The equipment malfunctioned and went under. I mean, to put it simply, it just went under. Once crews rescued the boat passengers, the attention turned to the stranded doe. Roxbury firefighters secured the deer and dragged it to shore. The stunned deer scrambled up the bank and collapsed in the nearby parking lot, struggling to stand on its own. Wildlife officials quickly arrived on scene. After the deer was tranquilized, crews loaded it up onto the back of this pickup truck. It will be transferred over to Antler Ridge. They say injuries right now only appear to be superficial, some bruises and abrasions. Chief Mark Palanchi says they launched the rescue because nearby residents of the condos surrounding the lake were about to take their own boats into the icy waters and attempt to save the deer themselves. Usually you just let nature take its course. I mean, if this wasn't behind a condo complex and it was in the middle of the woods, you know, nature would just take its course and the deer would either get out or it wouldn't. Plans were still being made to tow away the sunken vehicle. In Roxbury, Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey. It'll get boring for me pretty quickly. For me and many others in my generation, playing your old-fashioned slot machines, hitting a button, watching the reel spin, hoping for the best, may seem like a waste of time. I do not play the slot machines. Why not? It's it's just a waste of money, it feels like. You dump your money very fast. You play with, you know, it's you're sitting next to a lot of grandmas. Experts say younger people simply stay away from slots and stick with poker or walk right past the tables to the nightclubs inside Atlantic City's casinos. Game manufacturers seeing this trend have slowly brought in new elements to their machines, which rely more on skill rather than chance. These people have grown up playing Xbox. They play the first shooter games. They play Mario Brothers or Mario Kart racing games. We tried out several of these new hybrid slots here at the Gaming Enforcement Testing Lab in Atlantic City, including a video pinball machine. Games come here first before they're sold to casinos and hit the floor. If you're a good pinball player, this would be a good bonus for you to, to take up. This machine's bonus round features a magic carpet ride. You control the action by way of the familiar joystick. That was more exciting than hitting a button over and over. A company called Gameco out of New York City plans on submitting this racing game to the testing lab. The first 100% skill-based betting video game. Game testers say it's only a matter of time before this type of machine enters the market. If the manufacturers can come up with a way to monetize those type of games, it's going to be a home run. For these game makers, the challenge lies on how to balance a skill-based game payout with a promise to a casino that they'll still make money. You also want to be sure that someone can't come in and clean your clock, right? If someone is purely skill, can someone just wipe out a casino through the skill? Would these skill-based games be enough to get our 20-somethings onto the casino floor and bet real money? It'll definitely make it more thrilling, I could imagine. Yeah, just being able to it's a skill game, so you are going to put your best foot forward all the time. Mario Kart, I'll be there first day. I'll be there immediately. But that's, and I don't like slots, but that would be something that would draw me to it. As for me, this interactive bonus round proved a financial success. You're going to let me keep these winnings, right? No such luck. This was only in the yeah, testing don't... lab. But these skill based games could be in your local casinos by the end of the year. In Atlantic City, Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey. 14 to 20 foot waves now coming in off the inlet. These will continue to build throughout the day as these uh, storm force winds, 50 to 60 miles per hour, continue to rake the Jersey Shore live in Manasquan. Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey, back to you. Yeah, those winds. Oh, yeah, careful, oh, Jim. Man. Please Whoa. be careful out there by the inlet. Uh, oh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, definitely.